is Mr. Ueda. Um, he's a Hiroshima survivor, exposed to the atomic bomb at age three. He was born in 1942, and he lives in Hachioji City, Tokyo Prefecture. Uh, he was exposed to radiation after he entered Hiroshima City with his mother to check up on the damage to their home, which stood just 400 meters from the hypercenter. Please welcome Mr. Ueda.紹介受けました。上田浩二と言います。私事ですけれども、ニューヨークに最初に訪れたのは国連で初めてロビーで原爆パネル展を展示した2005年のNPT会議です。Good afternoon everybody. My name is Ueda Koji. Um, I've actually been to New York before. This is not my first time. The first time I came to New York was in 2005, when there was the first exhibition of the Hiroshima panel, the Maruki Hiroshima panel, at the lobby of the UN um, back in 2005. So that was my first time. その5年後の 2010年のNPT会議 そして今回の3回目ともなります 5 years later in 2010 I was again here in New York for the NPT review conference and this is therefore my first time in New York このような機会をいただいたことに心から感謝申し上げたいと思います Thank you very much for having me here today さて私はワクチン時から 400メートル以内現在の平和公園の中にあり私はその時3歳6歳で3歳と6ヶ月で記憶はありません。I was 3 years and a half, 3 years and a half when I was exposed to the atomic bombing. Therefore, I actually do not have a direct memory of the bombing. My house was 400 meters from the hypercenter and it's now uh, part of the Hiroshima Memorial Park. My house is no longer there. Tojiya um, back then, my house, my family business, my house's family business was uh, distributing textile goods, but my father was conscripted and he had to go to China, so we had to close our business. So that was the reason why we actually moved to my mother's family house, which was 10 kilometers away from the hypercenter, and that is the very reason why I am here alive. Among my family members, um, those who were exposed to the atomic bomb was myself, my mother, who was 26 years old back then, and my younger sister, who was um, 12, uh, 22 months back then. In年後の8月6日8時15分ですけれども、人類史上で初めてヒロシマに原爆が投下され、原爆は想像もできない。August 6, in 1945, it was 8.15 a.m. That was the first time the nuclear, the atomic bomb was used in human history on the city of Hiroshima, yielding unimaginable force to the people who, was, who were living there back then. There are three characteristics that are unique to atomic bombs, which are heat, blast, and radiation. First, 
28メートルの平場となり表面の温度は7000度から8000度と言われており核心地の地上では温度が3000度から4000度と言われております。Let me first tell you a little bit about heat. One second after the nuclear explosion, there becomes a fireball of 26 to 28 meters in diameter. The surface of the fireball reaches 7000 to 8000 degrees Celsius. That means that on the ground, at the hypercenter, the temperature becomes 3000 to 4000 degrees Celsius. ちなみに、太陽の表面温度は6000度です。Just so you know, the surface of the sun is 6000 degrees Celsius. 次の爆風ですけれども、火の玉の中心は数十万気圧。300メートル地点では、秒速360メートル、1.8 キロの地点では秒速100メートル、音速は340秒、40メートルです。Secondly, the blast. The center of the fireball has enormous pressure. So at 300 meters from the hypocenter, the blast is 306 meters per second. That's the speed of the blast. At 1.8 kilometers from the hypercenter, the blast is 100 meters per second. Just for reference, this, the sound travels is 340 meters per second. So, the blast emitted by the nuclear explosion was actually even faster than the sound travel. And with that blast, the city of Hiroshima, whose diameter was 4 kilometers, was completely destroyed in 10 seconds. Third, radiation. And this is what makes an atomic bomb unique from any other kind of weapons. There are external radiation exposure and internal radiation exposure. External radiation exposure is your instant. Exposure to radiation at the time of the atomic bombing. So, internal exposure is the radiation that goes into your body from your mouth, nose, or skin. The radioactive materials that go into your body keeps hurting one's body for the, for the entire lifetime. Can you imagine, just for a second, that there were those people beneath the mushroom cloud trying to survive? My mother, almost every day, she was trying to help those who were heavily injured by the atomic bombing. So she would tell me about the kind of things she saw as she was helping people, and she would say things like she saw people who were so burned that she could not recognize either they were male or female. And those people kept coming to schools, to temples, to kindergarten to seek for help. It was a very hot summer. 
people come to you asking for water, so you take their hands, and the moment you take their hands, the skin comes off. In one night, the wounds will be filled with maggots. The maggots move around, touching nerves, so people keep saying, Oh my god, it hurts, it hurts. しかし, However, there are no doctors, there are no medications available, there was nothing they could do, so all they could do was to pick one maggot by one maggot, picking them by hand. Those people would not survive long. Most of them would be out of breath by the next day. Those people would be gathered in one place, put gasoline on it, and they would be cremated. Actually, as you said, fire, there were actually some people who were still, although barely, barely alive. And as, as soon as you said fire, you would hear people screaming. So, very close to the hypercenter, it becomes something like vacuum. And all the animals, all the, all the human beings who are very close to the hypercenter, the pressure makes it so that your organs, your eyeballs come out. So there are people whose eyeballs were coming out of their eyes. <coughs> So you would see people trying to walk, trying to hold their eyeballs that are popping out of their eyes. But again, those people would not live long. In Hiroshima, there are seven rivers um, passing through the city, creating a delta-shaped um, geography. A lot of people who were heavily burnt, they would go to the river seeking for water, but they would be out of breath as soon as they reach the river. So you would see corpses and corpses on the river, not just one layer, layers. Let me share a story of a Hibakusha atomic bomb survivor who has the same age as me. Him and I went to, well, came to DC in the United States and we told the stories of the atomic bombing to the people in Washington, DC. Um, very sadly, he passed away a few years ago. <coughs> Hibakusha 
チビは私の漫画と認識させます。アザヒバクシャ、シーン・サンバリー、ハミング・オフ・ザ・サイメージ、パッシング・アウェイ、イス・イッツ、イッツ・オズ・ウェイ・ディス・ハプニング、イッツ・ミッツ・イッツ・ミッツ・彼は私より厳しいところで被爆しました2階にいたそうですけれども人と飛ばされて庭で埃目まみれの中で助け出されたそうです He was actually on the second floor when he was exposed to the atomic bombing He was blown away from the second floor He hit the ground and he was covered in dust 日本の家屋は木造住宅ですけれども、彼のおじさんがその家屋の下敷きになりました。Japanese houses back then were mainly wooden, so it collapsed and his uncle was crushed underneath the house. 下敷きになったおじさんを女子供の力ではどうしてもその家屋を取り除くことができません。People who are around were just women and children. Just by their power, just with women and children, it was not possible for them to pull out the uncle from beneath the house. They would ask for help from other people, but of course they too have to evacuate. Nobody had room to help others. そのうち火の手が迫り、おじさんはついに諦諦めます。せめて君たちだけでも生きて生き延びろ。そのように叫びました。The, at the same time, the fire comes closer and closer. The uncle gives up. He says to the family members, You guys go, you have to survive. しかし、家族は最後まで諦め,る諦めることはできなかったわけですけれども、どうしてもその場から逃げざるを得ない状況で、その場から立ち去ろうとしました。Of course, the family doesn't want to give up, so they keep trying, they keep trying, but they cannot get him out. So finally, they decide to leave him. キリストを返して逃げようとする家族の背中に向かって、そのおじさんは鬼だと叫んだそうです。As they decided that they have no choice but to leave their uncle behind, and as they started walking away from him, the uncle screamed to the family members, say, You guys are devils. 助けを求めて足元に取りすがった人たちの手を振りほどいて自分だけが生き延びた被爆者は生涯自分を責め続けます。That's the kind of regret h i b a k u s h a keep living with, especially when you had to leave someone who were asking for help and you couldn't and you just had to run away. なぜあの時あの人を助けてあげなかったのか生涯忘れることができません。For the rest of the life, they keep saying to themselves, why? Why I didn't? Why I didn't help? Why I didn't? Why not? 当時は放射能の知識は全くありませんでした。Back then, we knew nothing about radiation. 一旦放射能が人体に侵入しますと、その影響は生涯逃れることはできません。Once radiation enters one's body, you can never escape from the effect of the radiation. それは DNA を傷つけるからです。Radiation damages people's DNA. DNA は子や孫、生まれるときには。Because of this potential genetic effect, people are very worried when they are expecting child or grandchild. 
but most of the time they are not able to share their worry with other people. They feel like they have to keep it to themselves. I'm talking like this right now, but I, I was never able to tell my wife that I was always worried about potential effect to my children. The first 12 years, when the help was most needed, people were just left by themselves. Because of that, many Hibakusha had to face discrimination and prejudice. There are many people who had to give up marrying someone who they love because of them being Hibakusha. There are many people who gave up having children. There are many people who had to go through divorce because their family members realized that the spouse that just came into their house was Hibakusha and they didn't want that. By the end of 1945, 140,000 people lost their lives in Hiroshima and 70,000 people died in Nagasaki. We cannot let something like this happen in any part of the world ever again. So we Hibakusha experienced undescribable hell on earth. But we never talked about we never talk about retaliation. We never think about retaliation. What we have been calling for instead is not to produce any more hibakusha. That means that we want a world free of nuclear weapons as soon as possible. Last year on July 7, the treaty the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear uh, nuclear weapons was concluded with the support of the majority of the countries, which were 122 countries. I learned about that fact late at night in Japan, and I remember every single Hibakusha who could not be there, who had passed away, and could not be there to share the joy. And I have to say, I cried. I cried by myself. <laughs> It was like a dream coming true. At present, 59 countries have signed the treaty and 11 countries have ratified the treaty. It is imperative that more countries sign the treaty, that more countries ratify the treaty, and that we can actually aim 
the world without the total elimination of nuclear weapons. We are now entering an age where the use of nuclear weapons will be considered illegal under international law, and that I feel that we are leveraging human wisdom. There is an expression that we use often, which is no more Hiroshima, no more Nagasaki, no more Hibakusha. This I would like to make it a shared universal values just like freedom or democracy. I think this expression implies three things. One is a philosophy that rejects retaliation. Second, it's also about not forgetting those who lost their lives in the atomic bombings. その人が生きていたらな、どんな思いを後世に伝えたかったでしょう。その思いを受け止めて生きてる被爆者が伝えることの重要な意味があると思います。What kind of message would those people who passed away would have told to the future generations? I think we as survivors have the have the mission of telling the message instead on behalf of those Hibakusha who could not be alive. Third, is no more Hiroshima, no more Nagasaki, no more Hibakusha is also about not allowing any second Hiroshima or any third Hiroshima or second Nagasaki, third Nagasaki. This is about fraternity, this is about solidarity. The average age of Hibakusha is now over 81 years old. The time left for us is very limited. We strongly wish that we are able to see the complete abolition of nuclear weapons within our lifetime. I sincerely thank you for the opportunity and thank you very much for listening to my story.